Yeah. Super sucks. You feel like a rolling advert, can't you? <laughs> Look at that. I don't want to talk to Harry. Got a smile for the camera. <laughs> Just stop the wind on the microphone, okay? Yeah. Don't worry about it, well, like. Let's go. 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 Let's go
had my drink, thought I ought to get some more drink to get me back to Grantham. Went and got a drink, a couple of sausage rolls, a little bit of a snackette, went in to pay for it. You can't pay by card unless it's £5, and it's £4.40. So I looked at the fella and he grumpily said, well, sorry about that, and went to take the stuff away. I could have got something else, but I thought, no, at the risk of sounding like James Morrison, we go off on a rant. So we got notices outside about how people were supporting them in these difficult times. Bear in mind this is a shop that sells newspapers, things like that. If I'd have paid by cash, presumably, they wouldn't have minded then, but if I'd have taken cash, potentially, with coronavirus on it. So paying by card is a better option. In this day and age, there's plenty of ways. Isettle Square, but they're all considerably cheaper than the payment system they were using. There's no reason nowadays to have to take a £5 minimum payment because of charges. So I went outside, didn't buy anything. Went two miles down the road, four miles down the road, bought less, a lovely little shop, got a cheery hello, how are you, how far are you going, is it hard work, did you get wet, from the owner, which is a much nicer experience. So guess where I shall go next time? I'm going to have another little rant in a minute about another subject. If I was on my gravel bike, I could ride up that track in front and I'd be about three miles from home. As it is, I've got to go left. I've got to go away from home, into a, into a headwind for three miles to go up there. It's a little bit tedious, isn't it? But still, it's all good fun. What else would you do on a Saturday lunchtime? So 46 miles in now, homeward stretch, somehow there's just managed to be a headwind in each direction where I've just come from, where I'm just going to, oh whatever, just crashed a gel, that'll help the last five miles I'm sure, six miles. So the other thing I wanted to have a little rant about, maybe it was a Rutland thing, but the friendliness of other cyclists seem to be in direct correlation to the price of the bike and the clothes they were wearing. The more expensive the bike, the more expensive the clothes, didn't even look up. Not an acknowledgement. The cheaper, the guy on the cheap mountain bike and the Aldi head to foot, very cheery hello. What is it with people? Are we too cool to wave if we've got an expensive bike and expensive clothes? Drop a comment below if you've noticed the same thing. I'm sure it must be a thing. So a couple of miles to go now. Just coming back in towards Grantham. I'm on the old, my local club with the wheelers. This used to be the end of a time trial course. Done down here and at this point on many occasions I've been close to death, exhausted. But quite tired now. There's going to be uh, quite a lot of traffic noise here, but I just wanted to show you this bridge. There's two bridges over Grantham, and unfortunately, sadly, they're regularly the scenes of suicides. And there's a young girl, and a few weeks ago, she's been up to the bridges and has put lots of little slogans to hopefully make people think twice. And uh, a few weeks ago there was another suicide just here and people are taken to now coming up they're leaving little slogans they're leaving little cards and it's a nice thing for people to do and you never know it might just it might just save somebody at some point it might just make them think twice Thank 
seemed to go a little bit sad, but uh, a nice thing for somebody to do.